Okay, so for verse and devotion today, I actually have a couple different areas I'm going to cover. But I'm sitting here and I'm praying and I'm like, all right, Lord, what do you want to do? What do you want to speak? And just really strongly is I keep hearing, go. You need to go. And I know what that means. And for a lot of people, they, you know, sometimes they don't interpret things well, but this is about go and tell people about Jesus. That's what I'm hearing. It's time to get off your behinds. And we, we've always been commissioned to go and tell people about Jesus, but now I don't know what's up, but there's just like, there's been a shift or a movement. I don't know what's going on in the spiritual realm, but God is, is doing pretty cool stuff. So go and tell people about Jesus. That's what I'm hearing. They need to learn um, that he is the son of God. They need to know that he loves them unconditionally with no strings attached, that he is who he says he is. And the reality is people, we when we're in, or if you're at school or you're at work or you're in Walmart or Target or wherever it is, you have no clue that person that's standing next to you, what their eternity is. And for you to be ignorant enough to think that it doesn't matter and you just need to butt out and stay out. <laughs> what if somebody did that to you and didn't care enough to pray for you or didn't care enough to tell you? I mean, if somebody knows that they've got, you know, pink eye or the flu bug Immediately, there's a notice that goes out and says, hey, warning, you don't want this. Um, <clears throat> and everybody takes precaution to not get it because they don't want that mess. It's the same effect, just the opposite is in, you know, if you want Jesus, you have to accept him. He is the real deal. He's the only way to get to heaven. But let me read these verses because these are... These are proof that we are supposed to go and tell people, okay? So the first one is, I love this. This is one of the reasons why I've been so adamant about the discipleship process is because he tells us to go and make disciples of all nations. So Matthew 28, verse 19 and 20 says, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them, to obey everything I have commanded you, teaching them everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Okay, then, so that one's very point blank. Go and, and preach, make disciples of all nations, okay? Then we go to Mark chapter 16, verses 19, yeah, it's verse 19 and 20. And this says, after the Lord Jesus had spoken to them, he was taken up into heaven, and he sat at the right hand of God. Then the disciples went out, so they went, okay, and preached everywhere. And the Lord worked with them and confirmed his word by the signs that accompanied it. Accompanied it. I can't say that word, but you know what I mean. So if you're one of those ones that thinks, oh my gosh, I can't do that. I'm going to freak out if I have to tell somebody about Jesus. Well, number one, he's telling you to. It doesn't mean you have to get a megaphone and go, hello, you know, Jesus is the best way and you're going to go to hell if you don't do it. I'm not saying do that. I'm just saying God will open up doors for you and you just have to slip right through, okay? And then it says here that his word confirmed his word by the signs that accompanied, accompanied it. <laughs> so he's going to back it up with signs, all right? So then the last one in Luke chapter 24, uh, let me read this whole last little part here, 44 through 49. He said to them, this is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms. Then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, this is what is written. The Christ will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. 
and repentance and forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I am going to send you what my father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. When he had led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they stayed continually at the temple, praising God. So he was giving them the last little part there. Here's the thing. Go. That's what I keep hearing. Um, I feel like that's what I'm supposed to be teaching next for the kids here um, at church is go, 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 go. Go tell everybody about Jesus. And don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Jesus, I just ask you, God, that you will give us a boldness, that you will help us be courageous, that you will help us to be able to stand up against the evil nastiness and rebuke it in Jesus' name. But God, help us to go and tell people about you, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.